Ed, we now have red in our glass. We sure do. This is Pinot Noir, and Pinot Noir, as many people have heard and our viewers know, is one of the most popular red wines in the world right now. Oh, and really? Sure. Uh, originating in the Burgundy region of France, it's made its way to California, to Oregon, and in this case, from New Zealand. New Zealand. Now, I thought New Zealand and Australia and those areas were known for their, like, Syrah and Cabernet. Am I wrong? Yeah, actually, New Zealand is actually known now for Sauvignon Blanc on the white side and Pinot Noir on the red side because it's a very, very cool climate area. People make that mistake all the time. They think that because they're so close in proximity, Australia and New Zealand, that they're, they're the, same, the same region. They're not. Australia is very hot, very arid, and New Zealand is very, very uh, sunny, but very, very cool. Cool climate grapes, like Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Riesling, Pinot Noir, thrive. In that environment. So do we taste the red the same way we taste the white? Absolutely. You want to give it a good swirl and a sniff. have to do it down there again. <laughs> And actually, think that's a good idea. If you're not really sure about whether or not you can execute this, and if you're wearing white or somebody next to you is wearing white, better do the safe route. It's okay. just as effective. So we smell it. And to me, first of all, you can even look at the color, and that sometimes gets overlooked as well. It's a light, light red. It's yeah. almost a ruby red color. That's because the skin contact, if you know where Now, is. Ed, you see the, I don't know what you call them, the we legs. We call them legs. And essentially, that's the alcohol that's in the wine, uh, the, the glycol. It really, the, the heavier the wine, in terms of alcohol and body, the thicker the legs will be as it runs down the glass. Oh. It's not really an assessment of quality, it's just an assessment of what the wine's all about. Huh. So. Okay, so like, what do you smell? Well, here? I smell, it smells like Pinot Noir to me, which means it smells like cherries, it smells like saddle, earth, mushrooms maybe, uh, cranberries. I just smell wine. I guess I don't have a very, uh... Practice, practice, practice. This is a, a World Series of Wine is a great opportunity to oh, learn all about well, Pinot true. Noir or any other that's wine you Okay, so now we do our wine geek. We uh, do. Tasting. And you'll notice, very flavorful, but very light body, easy to drink. It invites another sip right? they, because of the acidity is there, that mouth watering kind of character in the wine. Yeah, now I noticed you spit again. I did. Good practice. Good practice. And uh, spitting again is something that even when you have food, uh, if you're, if you're uh, having the lamb meatballs or the uh, pumpkin ravioli, yeah. you can still spit afterwards because you want to maintain your palate, you want to maintain You don't your want to spit the food. Well, yes. <laughs> Consume the calories and <laughs> not the alcohol. Hey, this is going to be fun this year, Ed, going from bubbles to whites to reds. So you would go Pinot. And then dessert wines. And then dessert wines. You would, would you start with Merlot first, then Pinot, or Pinot, Pinot, then Merlot? Pinot Noir, historically, is one of the lighter style red wines. So we're going to start with red wines from lightest to heaviest. Yeah. Pinot Noir, maybe Merlot, Cabernet, Zinfandel, Syrah would be the way to go. Okay. We'll hope to see you this year at the Heinen's WBIZ World Series of Wine. Cheers.